हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू इलेवेंथ सेशन ऑफ दिस आईओटी कोर्स लास्ट सेशन आई हैव डेमोस्ट्रेटेड हाउ टू डिजाइन लिंक एप एंड हाउ यू कैन कनेक्ट लिंक एप विथ नो डेबीसीयू एंड डीएससी लेवल सेंसर टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू थिंग that is raspberry pi at the end of this session introduction to raspberry pi and its usefulness initializing the raspbian os or you can say raspberry pi os and taking its components different modes of connection hardware add on raspberry pi foundation nowadays all the activities related to raspberry pi are monitored by raspberry pi foundation it is a uk based foundation the raspberry pi foundation is a uk based charity that works to put the power of computing and digital making into the hands of people all over the world this is done so that more people are able to harness the power of computing and digital technologies for work to solve problems that matter to them and to express themselves creatively inventor of raspberry pi raspberry pi helps solve united kingdom already i told you inventor even upton and his colleagues at the university of cambridge computer laboratory raspberry pi was designed to be a cheap hackable computer for improving tinkering skills the first shipment of pi became available in april 2012 usefulness of raspberry pi raspberry pi is a low cost solid card sized computer that plugs into a computer monitor or tv and uses a standard keyboard and mouse Little device that enables people of all ages to explore computing and to learn how to program in languages like Scratch and Python. Point to be noted, Python is available in Raspberry Pi OS, and most of the cases users. are comfortable in python that is why we are using python for coding in raspberry pi rather than the scratch it is capable of doing everything a desktop computer to do so from browsing the internet and playing high definition video to making spreadsheet word processing and playing games the raspberry pi has the ability to interact with the outside world and has been used in a wide range of digital maker projects for music machines to weather forecasting etc raspberry pi has inbuilt wifi by which you can connect directly with your wifi router or wifi so now i will discuss comparison of different versions of raspberry pi there are five families seen now raspberry pi family one is raspberry pi 1 raspberry pi 2 raspberry pi 0 raspberry pi 3 and raspberry pi 4 in raspberry pi 1 there are four modules b a b plus a plus in raspberry pi 2 there is only one module that is b 
less b d pi is 0, there are two models 0 and w plus w h. In less b d pi c, there are three models b, a plus, and b star. In less b d pi 4, there is only one model till now that is p. I think, guys, you can see the form factor either standard or compact. Ethernet you can see that in pi 1 b Ethernet is available, but in pi 1 a no Ethernet. Once again b plus Ethernet is available and in a plus there is no Ethernet facility and there is no wireless communication facility in pi 1. In pi 1 b and a having 26 pin and rest that is B plus and A plus having 40 pin. As you can see the release year 2012 for uh, pi 1 B and uh, 13 for pi 1 A then pi 1 B plus 2014 and A plus 2014. Okay? So, this is the all about uh, pi 1 and Pi 1 B and A now discontinued. Then come to Pi 1 2, the form factor is standard that means 85.60 cross 56.5 millimeter. Ethernet is available, no wireless communication, pin is 40 and released in 2015. SBD pi is 0, form factor is 0, that is 65 cross 30 millimeter, very small, no internet. In pi 0 model, no wireless, but W plus WH model having wireless communication facility. DPIO pin 40. Released in 2015, that is uh, pi 0 and pi 0 W plus WH in 2017. Pi 3 released in 2016. Pi 3 B form factor is standard. Pi 3 A plus compact and pi 3 B plus standard. Ethernet is available in Pi 3B, Pi 3A plus no Ethernet facility, Pi 3B plus Ethernet facility is there. All the versions of Pi 3 having wireless communication facility 802.11 B slash B slash N. Pi 3B released in 2016. Pi 3 A plus release in 2018 and Pi 3 B plus also release in 2018. So, after that Pi 4 came, till now Pi 4 having only one version that is uh, B with 1 GB, 2 GB, 4 GB, 8 GB capacity. Form factor is standard with USB C, previously all are USB B. Ethernet is available as vegan Ethernet and wireless also available 802.11 AC and having 40 p release that in 2019. That is the more or less comparison between different version of or family of Raspberry Pi. This is the uh, a picture of Raspberry Pi, you can see the different components of Raspberry Pi, but I have shown over here, this is Raspberry Pi 4. As you can see that uh, this is the Ethernet port. This is the Ethernet port where you can connect Ethernet cable. After that, we have four USB ports for connecting mouse, keyboard, or any USB device. Then we have audio jack for connecting your any headphone or audio pin. Then we have a Pi camera slot where you can connect the Pi camera, right? After that, we have two HDMI for connecting to 
monitor or LCD simultaneously. Then you have maximum USB port, this guy is C. Then you have uh, a slot for micro SD card where you install the weight. And after that, we have a one LCD slot where you can uh, connect a small LCD display. And uh, then you have a 40 DPIO pins, and this is the processor. This is the processor. This is the mechanical specification of SD5, as you can see. Specification of Pi 4 having a Broadcom BCM 2711 quad core Cortex A72 ARM V8 64 bit SOC single on chip 1.5 GHz. Right, you can also read out from this particular specification. So, already I told you this model having two SDMI card by which you can connect two parallel. LCD or monitor and having type C port. This is the um, gigabit Ethernet. Okay, these are some of the uh, important points you can go through from here. This is a pinout diagram already I told you 40 GPIO pins. You can see, guys, but you have to remember this thing to uh, connect your different components like sensors, devices, motors, and etc. etc. What will you make? The Raspberry Pi is a small computer that can do lot of things. You can plug a monitor, a keyboard and mouse into it. What you will need? That is the hardware. A Raspberry Pi 3 B plus computer with SD card or micro SD card. A monitor with cable. A USB keyboard and mouse a power supply, headphones or speakers optional and ethernet cable optional. This is Raspberry Pi 4B. What you will need a Raspberry Pi 4 computer with SD or micro SD card, a monitor with a cable, a USB board, keyboard and mouse power supply, headphones or speaker optional and ethernet cable optional. Now I will discuss different components of Raspberry Pi. This is Raspberry Pi 3B plus. I will open the case. This is Broadcom processor, this is Wi Fi and Bluetooth module, there are four USB ports for connecting your keyboard, mouse, this is Ethernet port for connecting Ethernet cable to get the internet through Ethernet. This is audio port where you can connect your headphone and microphone or speaker. This is Pi camera slot where you can connect your Pi camera, this is HDMI port through which you can connect your LCD display or monitor or TV whatever you want. Guys, I will show you the SD card. This is the SD card. In this SD card, you have to Install the Raspberry Pi OS. After installation, guys, you can see here we can insert it into this SD card slot. That's it. This is micro USB Type B 
port through which you can connect this wire and now you can connect this wire to your laptop for getting power. This is LCD display slot. You can connect small LCD over here. But this is the port through which you can connect your LCD TV or monitor, all these things. But point to be noted this is HDMI port. If you have VGA port in your monitor or TV, you have to use one adapter to convert VGA to HDMI. Then only you can connect to this port. There are 40 GPIO pins over here. Each of the pin having different different functionalities. For example, ground pin, VCC pin, or you can say these are the pins, the GPIO pins, which can be connected to your device or the sensors according to your requirement. This is the blue one is called the printer circuit board. So already I told you this is the type B cable. The one part is connected to this Raspberry Pi, another part is connected to the laptop or your computer, whatever you want. So now I will show you how you can download Raspberry Pi OS into your Raspberry Pi. Go to Raspberry Pi website raspberrypi.org slash download then download according to your operating system whether it is windows or ubuntu or ios download it and save it you can see guys this is the image.exe then click on install and finish Now you format your SD card, just insert SD card in your card reader and click on format. Done. Click on OK. Now open the Raspberry Pi Imager, the Raspberry Pi OS, and then Raspberry Pi full 32 bit. Click on SD card and then write. Ending the preparation. Once it is finished, you can safely remove the SD card from your card reader, that is from your computer, insert into Raspberry Pi, and any other extra cords such as power, mouse, keyboard, and the HDMI port. Find USB connector, end of your mouse cable, and connect the mouse to a USB port on your Raspberry Pi. Connect the keyboard in the same way. Make sure your screen is plugged into a wall socket and switched on. Look at the HDMI port on your Raspberry Pi. Notice that they have a flat side on top. Use a cable to connect the screen to the Raspberry Pi HDMI port. Use and adapter if necessary. This is the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay. 
as you can see the steps. So this is the Raspberry Pi interface. I'll show you life. So now after entering into this Raspberry Pi, just change your password. Default password is Raspberry. Select your country. Configure your Wi-Fi. Like this. Click done or reboot to finish the setup. Now I'll go to configure from Raspberry Pi and enable all these options. Now as you can see from the figure. click on interface and then you will get this options and click enable each of the option. Now you can install XRDP, why? Because if you want to connect your laptop with your Raspberry Pi as a remote desktop, then you have to install XRDP in Raspberry Pi. Connection using Ethernet, you can also connect Ethernet with the Raspberry Pi to get into the internet, but nowadays people are using wireless, so that is why I will prefer wireless connection. This is the way you can select Ethernet and you can share the Wi Fi into this Ethernet port by which the internet can be shared to the Ethernet and your Raspberry Pi get connected to the internet. So, this is the way you can do it, as you can see. You can scan the IP of the Raspberry Pi from the advanced IP scanner. You have to download this software in your machine. Just uh, go to Google and search advanced IP scanner download. It is a very small one. Just download this one into your machine. As you can see, scanning is going on. Find out Raspberry Pi IP address, but I have done in this case I have done through Ethernet cable. As you can see, this is the Raspberry Pi IP. And this is not the wireless LAN IP address. So this is the way uh, using advanced IP scanner software, search the IP range from this to this because it is my case, guys. Copy the Raspberry Pi address. You can also use another software called Putty. You can download the Putty. How to configure the Putty? Ensure your SSH program has X11 enabled. Enter the Raspberry Pi IP address. Click connect. Enter user name and the password of Raspberry Pi when prompted. Just you can see from the screen. Uh, how can I find out the uh, wireless LAN IP? Just go to terminal of Raspberry Pi and type if config. So, guys, you can see this is the Raspberry Pi wireless LAN IP address 192.168.0.9 for my case. Copy this from here, paste it the wireless IP address to the Windows remote desktop or VNC viewer or PC to connect. Raspberry Pi. So, I have connected my Raspberry Pi with my laptop by using USB cable. Now, I will download advanced IP scanner to scan the IP of Raspberry Pi. Just type advanced. IP scanner. Click on that. Free, click on free download. Yes. 
is wet Friends, you can see download is over. Click on open file. Click on OK. Click on install. Then next, accept the agreement. Install. finish guys you can see from here it is already downloaded and installed maximize this start scanning the ip let's wait it will take some time Okay, I got it. I guess this is the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Guys, yes, you can see. Click on this. Copy IP. Minimize. Search for remote desktop app. Click on this. Already I told you that this laptop now. Behaving as remote desktop. Already, you can see this is showing one entity one sixty eight zero dot twelve. Or you can copy it, no problem. Click on connect. Yes. So now we give username as Pi. And the password, what you have? Click on OK. This is my Raspberry Pi interface, or you can say Raspberry Pi with interface or Raspberry interface. Okay. So please wait.
as you can see you can click this raspberry pi symbol then you will get the reference and then you can go to the configuration so guys you can see you click on interfaces as you can see all are disabled so you can also enable it as per your requirement Okay, so so now we can uh, work with Raspberry Pi. Now it is ready to work. So I'm clicking on Chromium browser to start anything from Raspberry Pi. Like you can see from here, guys. Google, click on that. Google.com. Okay, or you can uh, check your email from here, guys. Okay. So, that is it, just wait. So, this is called a Chromium browser. Click on terminal. So, you can write any command of what you want. So this is ls command to know about the files or you can type anything whatever you want ok nice so OFA already connected I have configured the OFA earlier and if you can also click on this particular option for office, you have LibreOffice, LibreOffice, you have internet and sound, video, games, whatever you want, like as a computer. And here is the folders, file folders. Here you have all these files. I'll show you. In next video that how to run a program in Raspberry Pi using Python. Okay, this is all about introduction to Raspberry Pi.